Hi guys, a quick question. Is the change interval always the same for all timing belts? Of course not. Vehicle manufacturers do specify fixed change intervals, but these intervals vary depending on the vehicle model, engine and year of manufacture. There are two types of interval. The vehicle manufacturer either specifies a period of time for using the belt, plus a mileage, or just the mileage. With the first variant, it's the figure that is reached first that counts. In other words, either the amount of time the belt has been in use for, or the mileage covered. Things are a little more complicated in the case of the second variant, when only a mileage is stated. A customer may ask you why the belt needs to be changed before the specified mileage has been reached. Rubber is subject to an aging process, as you probably already know from tires. Over time they become hard and brittle. Exactly the same thing happens with our timing belts, which is why we recommend replacing them after no more than seven years. Imagine you have a summer vehicle perhaps, such as a convertible or a modern classic, that only has a very low annual mileage. It would take an awfully long time for the belt to reach its change interval, which is why there is this limit of the number of years it can be used for. You could also ask the customer how they use their vehicle, as usage, or in other words, the load on the belt, also affects the change interval. If the customer does a lot of short journeys in stop-start traffic, or the vehicle is always loaded, that increases the strain on the belt. If in doubt, it's always better to change the belt early rather than too late, as a damaged engine is more costly than a timing belt change. See you next time in the workshop.